three pedal fans here torqued up tv here matt modder matt begley here and we are here today with founding member of the carolina push rods rick hughes hey man how you doing oh i'm doing good matt what's been going on out that way since the quarantine well we just kind of it's it, it not much different we just stay in the shop work all day and uh until we get out and go to the store or something we really don't know anything going on <laughs> well tell us tell us what all you got going on at the shop right now well at the shop we're uh we're building a, a 54 chevrolet pickup it's for uh it's for a guy up in uh ohio and uh he's an airline pilot and he, it was his granddad's truck and uh he wanted it restored it was pretty pretty bad shape but uh he he wanted it because his granddad's truck we, we we're getting it going for him and uh, we got a 58 ford wagon i'm working on for myself and then uh we work on these gassers uh all the time just trying to maintain keep them ready to go <laughs> From what I understand, what you have four of them. Well, uh, there's four that runs out of Hughes Brothers' garage here. Yes, sir. Uh, my two sons and my brother. Okay. Well, tell us about that. That one you got behind you. That's yours, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that, that's mine. It's a '57 Chevrolet, and uh, I got this thing from. Uh, uh, Fellow push rod and uh, a neighbor of mine and uh, and, he, and his first cousin of mine named Jody Murphy, and uh, he brought this thing in I guess about five years ago and uh, I wanted it real bad and uh, I had to give it my favorite custom little chop top fifty four for it because you know it didn't come cheap but <laughs> uh, we've. Uh, it's went through a lot of motor changes and stuff in those five years. Uh, had a small block in it at first. Uh, you know, it, it, it ran decent. And uh, then we put a 427 uh, L72, like a pretty good vintage motor that came out of the 38 of my brothers. And uh, it ran good, ran uh, low sevens. and. Uh, and then we had a motor here in the shop that come out of one of the other cars. It, it's a it's a 505 uh, stroke uh, 454. Um, put it in it, and uh, it'll get down track pretty good now. You know, uh, mid 60s. I've seen it run. It'll run. <laughs> yeah, it it it. It goes pretty good. It it it, it uh, it's going just as fast as this old man needs to be going. I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think? Uh, you think we may uh, get the opportunity to to see that thing in action next month? Hopefully. Hopefully, uh, I, I I know uh, our race at uh, Wilkesboro, three pedal race. We we. Put it off to uh, to our September day, and uh, we're planning on still in motion, and and uh, we're not sure if they're having that or not. But uh, uh, we, we would like to. We really love to run it still in motion, uh, and we would like to go down there if it, if it's open. And and that's at Union Dragway. That's correct. Yes, sir. Yep, yeah, from what I understand, Union uh, had a uh, thirty-car test the other day, so that sounds promising. Yeah, it, it, it's promising. I uh, the you know talk I've heard uh, they're they're still thinking about it, so I, I, I'm not sure, but that's kind of what we're hoping for. Uh, if not, we're going to start doing some testing. Um, we can go down to uh, Rogersville, Tennessee, and test there or. Uh, Wilkesboro, the, the owner said, you know, they're, they're going to just as soon as the quarantine's over so they can open up, they'll, they'll do some testing. And, but uh, we, we'd like to get back on the track. Yeah, we'd like to be at the track filming. 
So yes. tell us the, the uh, Carolina Push Rods. Tell us about it. How did it come to be, and, and what is it all about? Well, the Carolina Push Rod started out, I, I think, about uh, uh, about 15 years ago. I think this is our 15th year. And uh, actually, you, you know, there's a lot of guys around here like uh, uh, Jody, Travis, you know, they, they drag race with us, and, and my brother Mark, and, and this, and my sons, and there, there was, uh, I think, nine founding members, and, and we just, we formed a car club, and, and we decided to have a car show, and uh, we have our car show down at uh, Poplar uh, School, it's an old school building, and it's really our clubhouse, I guess you would call it, or that's where we meet. And it's a it's a community building, and, and Poplar is just a little old. It, it's a you can't call it a town. It's a community. All that's there is a school and and some stores that that are uh, you, you know they're not stores anymore, but it used to have stores there and stuff. But anyway, we had our first car show, and and uh, we had four hundred cars show up. And uh, really, for just the schoolyard, it was packed. And it grew from there. We, we started, uh, we got other fields around and, and more parking. And uh, I think in 2011, Dennis Gage came and, and done his uh, My Classic Car show there. And after that, man, it just went wild. And, uh, now we have, uh, I think we had uh, over 1,200 cars uh, last year. We have it in August, the last uh, Saturday in August. And, uh, and we had to start turning cars away about 12 o'clock. And then, then some people leave and then you get some more in. But it's just a package. And, and all it is is uh, we, we don't charge admission and uh we you know we have good food sell you a t-shirt all this kind of stuff and, and uh i we really don't know what the attraction is but it, it it's really grown and, and and does good and through that we we started our uh our drag race and uh we uh do a couple of uh drag races each year uh We've been doing it at Wilkesboro. We have done down at Rogersville, Tennessee, at uh, Cherokee, and uh, and and that keeps us busy. Just just those two events, just the drag racing and our and our car show. We have monthly meetings, and, and I think you know that out of those nine founding members, I think they're all still there. I'm pretty sure. That's and neat. We've come a long ways, and. Uh, you know, we get to get we get together once in a while and, and go, uh, you, you know, together to places that ones that want to. But uh, we we just have a good time. That sounds like fun, Mater. We might have to talk them into letting us come and cover in that form. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds yeah. awesome. That sounds awesome. Yeah, well, we love it. And I hear y'all got some of the baddest small tire cars around too. Yeah, uh, yeah. There, there's uh, small cars come to our races, and uh, there's some, uh, there's some bad sum guns out there. Well, Rick, man, we certainly appreciate you taking the time to visit with us. And I tell you, man, I, it's so beautiful up there. I, I want to come up there and hang out, and maybe do an octane addicts. Matt and I can come up there and do an octane addicts up there. It's beautiful. Yes, sir. You, uh, y'all come on up and, uh, anytime and see what's going on in the shop and, uh, meet these guys around here. Like I say, that we're just, uh, car guys, hillbillies, know how to have <laughs> My kind of Probably show us a thing or two on them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, we certainly appreciate your time, and we definitely look forward to coming up there and visiting with you. And hopefully, sooner than later, we'll see you at the racetrack. 
Yes, sir. We look forward to it. We'll, we'll see you at the track.